There actually is a night display or a night mode in the Oculus Quest 2 that cuts out the blue light. The question is, is it actually doing anything? Is it healthy for the eyes? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video is how you turn the night display on and is it worth it? Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy, and I do videos all about the eyes. And I like to do a wide range of topics. Today we're gonna to talk about the Oculus Quest 2, specifically the blue light that comes from a VR system. Is it bad for your eyes, and what can you do about it? First thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to turn on the night display in the Oculus Quest 2. This will cut down on the blue light coming from your device. I'm gonna show you from my little snippet from one of my other videos. Now they've actually made it really easy to set it up on your device. If you open up the home screen on the bottom right, you'll see the settings. Click into that. Second one down is device. Click that. Second option down is night mode and you turn it on. Now before we get talking about the blue light and if it's actually dangerous, let me give you a little crash course into what blue light actually is. This is also from another one of my videos that I did, kind of going over what blue light is in general. Quick whiteboard action here. This is the spectrum of light represented by wavelengths of light with this side being short wavelengths, high energy. It's kind of like having a super punch that can punch through multiple layers. Whereas this side, large wavelengths of light carry low energy. It's kind of like just slapping your hands around very low energy. This small little section here is visible light. What we can actually register and see now on the smaller side of wavelengths, high energy, is the blue light and that's why blue light is studied so much in detail to see how much that can affect our eyes. Blue light is broken down roughly from 400 to 500 nanometers of wavelength with 400 to 450 being the high energy visible light. We'll talk about that more in detail. 450 to 500 being the area that can affect our sleep cycle. Let's talk about this more in detail. Now the question that I get all of the time is if blue light, especially from VR devices, is actually damaging the eyes. And really there needs to be more research done on this topic. There has been some studies done where it did show that high levels, a lot amounts of blue light did damage retinal cells in rats, also human cells on Petri dishes. But that was more blue light than we would ever get in our lifetime, even if we stared at the sun. So the question still remains, the natural amount of blue light that we get from the devices, from the sun, is it gonna damage our eyes? We can't fully say yes for certain. There still needs to be more studies done on that topic. The second question that I always get is if blue light is actually contributing to your digital eye strain, if it's straining your eyes. And this is a mixed bag. There have been a bunch of studies that does show that blue light does affect your eyes, does strain your eyes, and a bunch of studies that shows that blue light does not affect your eyes, does not strain your eyes out. So it's a completely mixed bag. For me, I have noticed, especially when I use the Oculus Quest 2, when I turn on the night display, it definitely helps my eyes. It cuts down on eye strain, it helps calm my eyes a little bit. Also when I wear blue light blocking glasses when I'm working on the computer, especially late at night, it definitely helps me. But I've had a lot of patients that say that blue light glasses doesn't help them at all. So it's a completely mixed bag, but worth a shot to try to see if it will help you. The third question is if the blue light, specifically coming from our devices, the VR devices, is actually affecting our sleep cycle. And this one is a yes, this is actually true. It does affect our sleep cycle, it's called the circadian rhythm, and it actually does affect or delay or ruin our sleep a little bit. And so for that reason alone, I do recommend putting the night display, the blue light blocking display on the Oculus Quest 2, especially if you're gonna be using it towards later in the evening before you go to bed. It's generally recommended that you cut all devices, computers, phones, TVs, VR devices, two hours before you go to bedtime. If you can do that, that will eliminate the more blue light that's coming from your devices that might influence or affect your sleep cycle. But I understand if you can't do that, if your only time to play the VR device is near bedtime, 
then I definitely recommend putting on the night display of the device. I've actually sunk a few hours into the Oculus Quest 2, and I've played a few hours with the night display turned on and a few with it just turned off, and I definitely noticed with the night display turned on, my eyes felt way better, less strained. I felt like I could concentrate more on the game, and so I definitely recommend at least trying with the night display on. At first, it's a little weird to get used to because the colors are different, but after a while, I didn't even notice it anymore, and it just felt better, especially when I was done playing. My eyes just felt a little bit less strained. Now, one extra bonus to the night display is that it seemed to cut back on the god rays coming from the lenses of the device. It didn't get rid of the god rays, but it seemed to make them less noticeable. They definitely did not bug me as much when I had the night display turned on. Hey, I just want to jump in here really quick. I'm actually editing the video right now, and they came out with an update to the software of the Oculus Quest 2, and they actually put in a brightness slider, finally. I've gotten a lot of comments in my previous videos how it was weird that you couldn't change the brightness of the device, but now you can, because that brightness can sometimes be overbearing on the eyes. And so you want to go into that same settings button, quick actions, and the slider is on the top right. You can turn it brighter or turn it dim. Also on that same page, you'll see on the bottom left, there's a little toggle on and off button for the night mode. So it's kind of a quick access point there. But yeah, just wanted to update, throw that in this video because I've gotten a lot of questions about the brightness. Thanks. And make sure that you check out my other video about other tips to save your eyes, to help with your eye strain. I go into more detail in that video. I'll put the link up there as well as in the description below. Also put links below to some helpful tools, lens inserts that help block blue light more efficiently than just the night display of the Oculus Quest 2. And that can also help reduce the digital eye strain that you might get from the device. It might help also with your sleep cycle. And so definitely check those out. Hey, I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. If you have any questions about the Oculus Quest 2, blue light, I'm there to answer any questions that you have. I'm focusing on you and your eyes. Make sure you check out my other videos as well, and I'll see you in the next video.